Peace. This is uh, Black Light. <clears throat> Today I'm going to go in hard on uh, my council. This is a cyberspace ministry. The Aboriginal Universal Supreme Co Council uh, of the Elders. I'm a solo soldier. I ride solo. Uh, you know, uh, I'm not socializing. You know, uh, there's too many government agents out here. You know. So, this ministry here is to just give counsel. And if something click with you that you could use in your everyday life, you know, beautiful. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to exchange ideas, you know, I'm, a, I'm an older brother, you know, I just got hip to this, uh, uh, YouTube hookup, I don't know how to work or operate it, uh, I'm using a tablet that I was going to give to my grandson, and then I ended up buying him one. I'm keeping this one because he showed me that you could uh, post stuff on YouTube. So I don't, I'm not a tech head or a geek or nothing like that. I don't know how to work, operate this. But I was inspired uh, to uh, give counsel to the young brothers and sisters. And also to encourage my elders, my elder brothers and sisters, to don't give up counsel, you know, and also in their family, in their hoods, because one time uh, the elders in the villages, uh, were uh, reign supreme in authority, giving advice and uh, counsel to the chief, counsel to the to the tribe, and everything. They had, in the Native American, they called them medicine men. Uh, in uh. Some parts of uh, Africa, they call them witch doctors, you know. And they had the power to, they had uh, the wisdom and the power to uh, heal those that needed healing, you know. So, uh, this is the gathering. I got a, 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 a portrait, a picture of a, uh, called the gathering of the elders you know and uh, the elders uh, give advice if you look at roots uh, in the very beginning before Kunta Kente was born uh, Kunta Kente's father consulted one of the elders of the village on how to name uh, his newborn child and uh, the elder gave him some common sense advice, some, you know, common sense like mother wit, you know, and we have gotten far away from that common sense, because common sense they say ain't so common no more. It's not nothing deep, but we in the year in the day of revelations and it was inspired you know uh, inspiration means to breathe it's got something to do with breathing in and out inspiration you know 
the spirit, the word spirit is in the uh, inspiration, inspire, you know, inspire, then you got expire. When you, when you, when you expire, uh, you cease to exist in this realm right here. All your breath is out you, you know? So the brothers, you know, they say we gonna breathe on this brother here. So uh, when they say we gonna breathe on him, that mean they ain't gonna go up to him and blow, blow, blow their bad breath in his nose. No, they talking about is uh, sending out some, some words of inspiration, some words of uh, divinity. Because all we are are words wrapped in flesh. You know, words are spoken thoughts or utterance, you know, with special vibrations in them. So, we're going to go hard. This is Christmas Eve right here. And uh, tomorrow is Christmas. Uh, 2016 and 2017 come in and I was inspired to do this you know I'm not st trying to start uh, uh, a movement where we meet up at nowhere but on this cyberspace and I know it's probably some of you that know more than me about certain subjects and uh, but my, my expertise is on what I'm saying to you you know uh, this is not of myself what I'm saying and what I'm doing right here is not of myself just like my music my music comes through me you know I'm an instrument I was blessed with uh, that talent. Now, there's some can do it better, and some can't can't hardly do it, you know. But I do it because I love the feeling I get when I create music. Just like I, I get, I'm getting a special feeling when I'm talking on this tablet. I'm not doing this for socializing. You know, I'm doing this for for my young brothers and sisters. I've been on the uh, planet for seven decades, 70 years. Uh, I'm a grandfather and a great-grandfather, which is a, a, a blessing in itself, you know, because I was messing up, man, when I was in my younger years. But something came over me. Uh, it turned me around. And I give I give y'all a little history of my life uh, in some of my previous videos. But we're going to go hard this Christmas. And we're going to go hard New Year's. We're going to go hard in 2017. We're going to try to change the vibration. of the planet to a higher vibration. This is uh, the, the introductory to what they call the New Jerusalem. See, the New Jerusalem is a place within your own minds and hearts and soul those of you who recognize this BS you know it's something but not right about none of this but you can't talk to nobody about it your elders they tripping uh, your, your peers are on another trip 
your your partners and whatever they they don't feel what you feel you know so you know this ain't right but ain't nobody seem like they don't get it you know so we're going to explain all of this to you and stay tuned I might not have enough time because I do everything in 15 minutes within 15 minutes stay tuned you know uh, on the next one because uh, we're going to go hard uh, I'm going to shorten the introductory up and get right to it and keep an open mind on what I'm saying uh, I, I'm not I don't want to link up with nobody I'm a solo soldier you know and uh, I don't want to have a conversation like that you know because I don't know who I'm talking to and that's how people get infiltrated on YouTube you say the wrong thing and they could take it to me you know the agents the FBI agents and the police agents when you, when you speak truth and you, and you don't protect yourself when you speak truth, your enemy could take it another way because they are orientated, you know, to be another way. See... Brothers was talking about we don't believe in religion. Anything could be a religion. When you uh, pray to that American flag, that's your religion. Uh, United States is a religion. United States separates itself from the world they say god bless america they don't say god bless uh the planet earth or the universe they say god bless america they don't care about what's happening over in other other parts of the world number what happens if god bless in america they say i pledge allegiance to the American flag. They don't say nothing about God. You know, although they say they're a Christian orientated country. They don't say nothing about God first. But when they get sworn into office, the presidents get sworn into office, they have a, a minister there. You know, blessing them supposedly into office. They use trickery. That's a trickery. You know. Because. Christians are supposed to care about their fellow man. You know. But they don't. The ones that call themselves Christians. They just care about America. And that flag. So. We're going to cut this one. Right here. Come back. And uh, stay tuned, because we're going to go in hard. Black light out.